Hi guys, I haven't planned this holiday lark very well. Um, I was hoping to get the passport for holidays. Now I have a holiday coming up in October and I may get one by then. So I'll see what I can do. I've got a holiday next week and as part of that holiday, I'll be going away for a few days with the children to Great Yarmouth to a caravan park. Now, I split up with my ex-wife four years ago, and since then I haven't had any opportunity as such to be away with the kids in any way. Now, obviously the plan was back then, when we split up, the idea that by now I would be married and the kids would come and stay with me and Leanne on a sort of a regular basis, and they would go on holiday with us. So we would have holidays, just me and Leanne, holidays with the children, but obviously we would by now have our own baby. So it would be family holidays and holidays with them occasionally, but we'd still want time for ourselves, which is the whole point. Obviously, as you know, well, you know that never happens. Um, so I've, I've never really had the opportunity to go away with them or do anything with them. Now, last year, my ex-wife asked me if I would go to Disneyland with them and if I would pay to go to Disneyland with her and the kids. I said, absolutely not. I wasn't into the cost that was involved, really. The money I've got, I was saving for myself in the end anyway. So it wasn't that. It was, uh, I didn't want to spend that amount of time with her. I just don't want to spend that time. We don't get on well. We don't get on well at all. We don't hardly ever talk and we just really don't see eye to eye. Um, the same thing I sort of applied this. So they went to Disneyland anyway. They went to Disneyland last year. So at the end of last year, beginning of this year, she asked the same question again, and I got the same answer. Again, you can stick it right up your taxi. I'm not going to Disneyland with you. I'm not spending that amount of time with you, and I'm not spending that money. Now, she did say to me, okay, well, would you buy the kids or spend money on the kids for a holiday at the end of their summer holiday, just a caravan park or somewhere? And I thought, well, I've got to be an adult about this sort of stuff, you know? There's no point beating about the wish. I don't see the kids that often as it is. I don't get on with her, we don't get on together, but I do want to spend some time with the kids. So although we won't talk and we don't get on, um, the beauty of caravan holidays is the caravans are massive. So there's six, sleep six, there's three bedrooms, I think, so or four bedrooms, so the kids will have theirs, she will have hers, and I'll have mine. Luckily, during the day and that, we don't really need to interact as such, just talk to the kids that's about it. She really, really, really has an aversion to my hair. She is totally and utterly embarrassed about seeing, being seen out with a man with green hair. She's the only person I know that utterly hates it. She thinks it's dreadful and really, really hates it. And so much so that even when I've had kids uh, school events I've had to go to, she said to me things like, well, you can't go unless you cover your hair. I've gone fine, okay. So I've turned up with nothing on my hair. <laughs> I'm not gonna change that, am I? So no, I mean, she really hates that. So that's sort of an advantage in many ways. But I had to really give in as such to a certain extent because I see the kids now and every single time I see the kids, the kids always say, to ask me a question or if they're gonna say something to me, they'll always say to me, oh, granddad this, granddad that, oh, granddad, granddad that. And every single time I have to remind them and say, no, 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 it's daddy. Oh yeah, sorry, daddy. And it's every time. And it really hurts, you know, it, it breaks my heart that they do that. It's not their fault, um, you know, and as I said, you know, it, it's not their fault. It's, it, that was down to me and the choices we made. So, you know, I can understand why they get confused, but I would just like at some point that maybe they will actually be able to turn around and remember me as daddy instead, which is the point. Um, holidays are just holidays. It's the evenings will be my own. So vlogging, I'm taking the drones, I'm taking the GoPro camera. Any time it's away from them, the children is my own and I'll be doing whatever the hell I want and I'll be out doing vlogging if I can. I'll try and vlog something. Um, it's quite a nice area. It's a, the, the beauty of Great Yarmouth and that sort of Norfolk Broads area is it lends good pictures for the drone. So aerial shots and stuff like that for the drone is very good. The seafront, I think, is very good at night. They'll be well in bed by then, so I'll be out and about in the evenings. So in theory, that will be quite nice for the drone. Uh, sorry, that'll be quite nice for doing a bit of vlogging as well. Uh, now, one of the other things I haven't done for a very, very long time and something I haven't done 
well, I have, something I haven't done since I was last with Leanne, and that's been swimming. I haven't been near a swimming pool. I've watched the kids a couple of times having their lessons. Um, but other than that, I've not been near a swimming pool at all since the last time I went with Leanne, which was great. I mean, I, I loved swimming with her. She looked absolutely gorgeous, and she was the most beautiful woman in the pool every single time we went, and always would be. That would never, ever change. Um, but I haven't been near a pool since, and I haven't, especially not with the hair, so I'm not quite sure how it would hair would work, but I really fancy the kids are both quite good swimmers now, and I would like the idea to be able to at least spend a little bit of time in the water with the kids, even if I just said just for myself, just to freshen up a bit, I haven't really felt to be near water in any way. Obviously, with the hair as it is, and what with the, as I said, the... Um, trouble that causes I have to be a little bit subtle so I bought myself some new shorts for swimming <laughs> I, I did say subtle didn't I yeah these are subtle um, so I'll be wearing these <laughs> um, and hopefully I'll have a bit of fun in the swimming with the kids which is something I haven't really looking forward to I haven't I said I haven't done that for a long time Probably I won't do anything like this for probably a year or two years. I don't know. I mean, it's the problem I've got at the moment. I can't really have the kids over here and I haven't got anybody with me to go away with with the kids. So um, it's it's a bit difficult. And as I said, maybe it won't happen for another year or so. I won't be going with her anywhere again. So obviously my holiday will be the same as normal holidays for me in my mind that, you know, I'll still be taking my pictures of Leanne as I always do that stay in my bed next to me and I'll still be you know I think about her 24 hours a day 20 every second of every single day f forever so that never ever <clears throat> so that never goes out of my mind ever and, and that won't change at all so it's not going to make any difference in that respect I as I said I'll be more doing the sort of vlogging and that sort of side of it hopefully the kids won't appear in it um, the kids don't appear in vlogs very rarely do you see the odd glimpse of them. They haven't really since the start. I think it was something their mum very, very against them playing in the vlog. She wasn't keen on it at all. Um, more so, I think, for the fact that we were split up. I think if we'd been together, she probably would have been a bit keen on it, but she really wasn't keen on it when we split up. And also, out of respect, really, to be honest with you, although Leanne hasn't made any effort to speak to me since, well, for two and a half years or more, I sort of then again with her, it's... And, you know, I don't really want to show pictures of the kids and that. So, because, um, you know, if we had been together still and we'd been married, well, we would have been married by now, then if we were doing vlogs, if she wanted to be in them, again, it would all be down to her. It would be her consent. So I would always ask Leanne if she wanted to be in the vlogs and if she wanted the kids to be in the vlogs. So, as I said, I would have loved to have had vlogs with bringing up our child and children, whatever, moving in, all that sort of stuff. So I've explained that all before. I have promised I won't go on about it because I shouldn't go on about it. So... But so the kids won't really appear in it. Um, it'll be other stuff. It's, it'll be drone shots. It'll be videos. Basically, whatever I find when I'm out and about. Okay, hi again. I um, clearly need to sort out something with the lighting at night on here. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is you know I am rather stupid. Um, or some of you think I'm very stupid. Some of you don't. Many um, just because of things I have belief in, things I have faith in, the things I hold on to, and still hope for uh, no I don't see that as stupidity or, or anything of that nature as such um, I just you know that's here that's me that's the way I am now some of that comes to this obviously this holiday I've known probably for a uh, bit six months or so I've known about this holiday obviously and in that time I suppose I've been sort of waiting to be rescued so <laughs> up until now I've been sitting there thinking oh maybe you never know um and that never have gonna happened anyway but not rescued so i don't have to go still want to go take the kids still want to take the kids but just not go with their mum and then go with somebody else instead i think my waiting for a hero for most things is probably going to take rather a long time it's gonna be a very long wait and if i hold my breath it would not help at all with it um but you know i only have one hero i'm waiting for really so but again, like everyone else, as I said, if, if people think I'm stupid or think I'm mad, then she's probably sitting there every time. <clears throat> she's probably thinking every time she's, you know, I'm doing the things that people think stupid, she's probably laughing her ass off. And she's probably, more than that, she's probably laughing her ass off 
then telling her friends that she's laughing her ass off and then they're laughing their ass off at me you know, it's but it's the way I am and I can't be any different than I am in it. Also by the extra lights it does give me the opportunity in here to show you that these I mean these really oh look these are proper proper bright it didn't really show it very well last night these are proper bright luckily my friends at work well who they they are sort of sometimes they're trying to support me <coughs> when I have my cold and they're trying to support me sometimes they're doing it to take the mic but it will be helpful because they thought oh I was worn out and tired they thought oh whilst I was at work they could buy me a eye patch thing to cover my eyes so I wouldn't have to do any work but actually they're really really useful because I'll be able to go away and I'll have something to cover my eyes, I have my headphones, teddy bear to cuddle so all's good, all's quiet. Now I have got to go out and get a suitcase because I, I normally I travel with like loads of drone stuff and that. This time the drones, both drones aren't that big um, but I'll need to take a small rucksack for all the power supplies. So power supplies for the drones, camera, GoPro, phone, laptop, because I take the laptop so in the evenings if it's raining and I can't get out I can at least go to the bar or wherever there's Wi-Fi and sit and use the laptop. I've got to buy a suitcase in for clothes, so towels because of the hair and um, normal underwear, shorts, jeans, chairs, you know, all the normal stuff you would um, normally wear. Now as I said to hair, also as I said about earlier in the video, but Obviously it is a little bit faded at the moment, so this will be brightened and given an extra bit of vivid green, shall we say, um, over the weekend. So I'm heading into Matalan to buy my subtle suitcase. Um, I had a different one in mind. I'd seen a few weeks ago I'd been out and about, and I can't remember where it was, which is why I'm not getting it. But I saw a lime green sort of plasticky one somewhere problem is I can't remember I've been looking all around and I just can't remember where it was that I saw it so I'm gonna have to go and get this slightly more subtle version here well as always I leave everything to the last minute and last minute the beautiful bright wonderful suitcase that they had they don't have they had it a couple of weeks ago um, so now I've got to go and try Primark instead well it goes to show I should have got the this one the first time I saw it I should have really got the green one the first time I saw it but I thought oh, I'll wait a while thought I'd wait a while on this one and this one's also gone so it would have been a very nice sparkly sort of petrol colour but it's gone so I'll have to get a different case somewhere that won't be in this vlog um, probably in the next vlog I have also noticed that i um, got a car show at Canterbury on Saturday night so I will actually have to do my hair probably before that so the hair will probably be done before Saturday night before I go um, but whilst I was in Primark as you do <laughs> so even in the winter you're not going to be able to miss me are you excellent thanks for watching guys I said I will bring videos and stuff back from there and I'll show photos aerial photos and um, see you in the next one bye bye I